call the meeting to order. Uh, Alderman Mashburn had some, if, if any surgery is minor, it's, we can call it minor, I doubt he does. But he's recovering from it. Uh, he's okay. You understand he won't be with us at the meeting, so we have somebody make a motion to excuse him from the meeting. So make a motion. Second. A motion to second. Can you get something out of that? All in favor, raise your hand. All right. All right, we'll move on. Uh, just a couple of items on our agenda. The first one is town planner's recommendation for reappointments to the Board of Adjustment and Planning Board. Who wants to talk about that? That I'm um, coming with us tonight. He's off uh, on a training uh, mission of some sort for the town. Um, he brought before the board at the conclusion of its last meeting. Uh, we not have him on the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a touch? Oh. Anyway. Um, we had before you a letter that he had written making a recommendation for uh, reappointments for Dave Owen, Dick Hagen, Larry Hollowfield, and Tom Harris. Uh, just as a matter of review, the planning board and board of adjustment, all of those terms had expired and some, some reappointments needed to be made. Um, he also has a plan in, in place to ask the county for reappointments of their members and also receive members for two, for two vacant seats. Uh, I would ask that the board uh, approve those recommendations. Uh, <coughs> three or four is, is there a lot of other names out there really? Not really. I don't think so. I think for for the the vacant seats, I think he's got some, some interest and is gonna bring that back to the board. Words. I think there's one for the county and one for the town. Uh, I'm just pleased that people like the caliber of age didn't let his father win. Stay with us. Yeah. What says the board? Is there another mm -hmm. mm -hmm. motion to be good? Any further discussion? All favor, raise your hands. All right. Let's pay it forward to these. Yeah. Uh, is there any consideration? I brought it up that we advertise these places not just on the website that is newspapers as well. Uh, I'm just not sure that many people see our website. Uh, okay. well, that's something we can take up at a later date. No, that was as good a time as I thought that we had talked about. We did, but I, I see that it's, 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 it's still that it, it's 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 advertised. It still says the vacancy has and continues to be advertised on the town of the website. Yeah, Bob brought it up before the man wasn't it? It's been a while time, yeah. So uh, the board discussed it and it got discussed, discussed, discussed. <laughs> it got left for what I said, well, in lieu of anything else, we'll just continue to use the website advertising and nothing ever happened from it. Could, could we not say just have somebody send a little one paragraph news release out when we have a vacancy? to the media here in town. They said for vacancies. Yes. Yeah. Well, that one. Yeah. That's how the county was. It's a weird point, but not the vacancy. It is. It's just a matter of vacancy. Right. And you wouldn't, you would want people to, <clears throat> you would hope people would, well, uh, I'm, I'm not talking so much about the, I'm talking about vacancy when the seat is literally in like the ones that are coming up. Exactly. Like the one that we're coming up with. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's not a real point. Right. Yeah. It's not a real point. Mr. Mayor, if that's what we're going to do, should we not make a motion? Well, we didn't really make a motion. Well, that's what we didn't make. We didn't, we didn't make the motion, so it really isn't an effect. So if we don't. Well, I don't guess we've ever really voted to advertise on our website either. It's just something that you just, you just do. You know what I mean? So I don't like the website. But I think that uh, is it the consent of the board that it would for openings that more is better and we can get them local papers to have it. Openings would be a better word. Openings. Yeah. Openings. Mm -hmm. And Sam does when will our next one come up? Openings. Oh, I think that's 
have two literal vacancies on the board come up over the well the, the planning board's going to meet on sending some recommendations to the board so that'll probably be I guess a November meeting. I think yeah they, uh, I think it's October 9th there is part of the reason that we need to go on and move these forward is that there, there is some planning board business that they have to take care of October 9th. So that would be the first two. So if the board part of what they'll do to make a recommendation. If the board was of the mind, then they could have a motion and uh, take a vote that for all openings, vacancies, or whatever in the future that the local print media be advised and get, you know, have some notice. May I modify that to include the electronic media as well? Whatever. Yeah. Is that something the board's comfortable addressing today? It is kind of on the same subject. We're at an open meeting. But we're kind of on the bubble there. But well, there so is that a second then? Sure. Bob's well, got a motion. And there's a second. Everybody clear on what we're what? Um, four. Three scenario after five. Four. If you want to do it for vacancies or open? Well, there's probably no difference between making decisions and openers, really, is there? But not necessarily for those who are up for reappointment. We're not as concerned about that. Do you want to do it in the newspapers or what? Yeah, just all the local media. Well, there's a motion and there's any further discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Okay, so I've got something down there. Okay, anything else on the 2A? Okay, then let's go on to a non-profit funding pool request. You all tell me how you want to <laughs> handle these. Uh, you want to just talk about ones you have issues with, and otherwise, it's the take that they would be.
pay for advertising and other things that are within his purview that it feels will increase tourism. Yeah. If that's well, done by the Arts Council and nonprofit, that's that's fine. I, I don't know where they, they if they haven't applied and just thought that they reapply for it. They probably thought they were connected to the Okay. Community care clinic Highlands Cash. That's the great clinic. They open uh, here two days a week. Even though it says Highlands Caches, we've got some assurance it's open both. He's here for that. Uh, but uh, this will be on its own. Well, there's some. Right. Right. What? Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, there's certainly a need for it. Yes. Dollar to clear. Reserve that and pay the bills. That's right. That's the way we can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Open on all properties. Make the county care. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. The tap for humanity. They started building handicap ramps and things like that, or they were just building a house. I think they have committed, uh, or they have been doing several of those in the city limits also. Maybe kind of historical society is You know I'm troubled about that a little bit due to the application that was put in and uh, uh, the lack of concern about inaccurate figures and came up with utilities for $16,500 and that's about uh, well, between twelve and thirteen thousand dollars over what the cost of that is going to be. If they're trying to hide that much money down there, then they need to use uh, part of that to go ahead and finish the remodeling. I'm not against giving them the money, but I think that uh, before we do, I'd recommend that we ask uh, that museum directors and treasurer to submit us an accurate uh, uh, budget. Yeah, but where did you get $16,000 for utilities? I see heating fuel, I see electricity, I see I'm water. Going. So you added all that together? I did, I added it. Together. I see that that's any problem. Well, I really don't. Well, I mean, he admitted that it was. Well, he said it. He said it. Yeah. It is a projected budget. It's a projected budget. I would like to see them have an auditor and audit. Those are public funds. And I, even our Main Street program has to be audited. And I just feel like when you're dealing with public funds, that you just, they need, you need to help. I don't have any problem with asking for a little more in detail. That audit, I don't know how that extensive they are for one thing, or they are yeah, extensive. Yeah, but but my, my two cents, if we can't get 5,000 to the historical society for what they do right there in that town, and all the folks they put in there, I, I think that we're going to have a hard time. Well, I don't present the money. I don't, that's not it. I think it's just another well, we don't have any account of any of audit of anybody else. We get the money to it, well, I've got a question about uh, about the uh, hospital foundation here. I don't see anything in there that tells me where this money is going to be. But it's just one of those things. I don't know why we're singling out the historical society. But the society, the, the museum's bigger than Bob. It's yeah. bigger than Bob. Well, I, I feel the need for these folks. So and and, and, and we, do. Yeah, we absolutely do. So the question is, are we going to put conditions on it that we're not putting on the others? Is that, that's what it seems like it's coming down to. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, think I, think I think that uh, I think that 
the suggestion needs to be the presentation wasn't done properly. Seriously. It, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. 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 We're expected yeah. to do our job seriously. Uh -huh. We're that, that we were not abusing the system and wasting the taxpayers' money, but I, you know, I didn't consider the abusing that. Right. And you didn't need to. But I think that's uh, okay. This public library. Thank <laughs> you. 